The personal island in Albion Online has many things to do from using laborers to doing farms to raising animals. In this video, this is going to be a beginner starting point to raising animals on pastures and kennels on your personal island. Now, the first thing that we need to go over is premium. So you are going to need premium to buy a personal island. And the thing with premium is it's going to give you 100% crop yield for the farm that you're going to be doing, as well as 100% farm animal growth rate. So this is very important, as well as it will really dig into profits if you don't have premium. Some of the animals like the swift claws take five days and 20 hours to grow, but this right here will cut that in half. So it's a lot faster to get animals raised this way while having premium, as well as premium is kind of a mandatory thing if you want to make profits from your island. As any of your farms, pastures, you're not going to have any focus to nourish them, so you won't have a chance to get any cubs, as well as you need that extra yield, as well as the time cut to get the animals raised faster. You can get seven days of premium and get your personal island. You, all you need is seven days, but it's highly recommended that you keep your premium up, whether you're going to be paying it in silver, which we have 10.5 mil at the time of this video. That's how much it costs to get one month of premium in game, or if you're going to be purchasing it with real world currency. Now from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where you need to go to buy your personal island. Here is, I'm here in Fort Sterling. So if we open up our map, we have this little island merchant. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to go to the island merchant and they're going to give you an option to purchase your personal island. Now, here is a chart that'll show you the different prices for the personal island. When you initially buy it, you're not going to have any farm plots. So your kennels and pastures for raising animals are going to be on farm plots. When you first buy your island, you're not going to have any. When you get to tier two, you'll have one. And when you get to tier five, you'll have four. So it's recommended that you either have a tier five or tier six personal island, as this will help you be the most efficient in raising your animals as well as growing crops to feed the animals. So to get to tier five, you're gonna need 2.7 million silver. To get to tier six, you're gonna need 6.45 million silver. So 6,450,000 silver. Now, before we actually go to the island, there is a couple things that you want to know when it comes to kenneling. So if we go to the destiny board, we're going to be following down the trainee farmer, and then we go to harvester, and it's gonna, if you've already done this, so if you planted any carrots or better, you'll have this unlocked. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do chickens. So we're going to have to get baby chickens to raise. And this is none of this is going to be unlocked until you raise baby chickens. So what I did is I did two pastures of baby chickens. You know, I nourished them and I fed them their carrots. And the next day when they were raised and I picked them all up, I had enough levels to raise level 10 uh, kennel mounts. So we could start doing like, we could start doing gray wolf pups. We can start doing the swift claw cubs, um, stuff like that. So these are the different ones. So some of these go in kennels and some of these go in pastures. Like these ones go in pastures. This one goes in a pasture. We're going to do baby chickens starting out. Also on top of that, if you're not going to be buying the meat to feed your animals and you want to make it yourself from the chickens that you raise. So we're going to have to get sous chef unlocked because that's the only way to get raw chicken. And the way to get this unlocked is you have to craft any potion or meal. So here in my inventory, I have, um, I bought nine or I bought eight um, arcane agaric seeds as well as 16 carrots. We can use either or and what you're going to do is you're going to look on the map for any kind of el like a cook so just any cook will work you can pick any of those or you can go to an alchemist lab so what i did for mine is i went to an alchemist lab but it doesn't really matter which one you do you just need to get sous chef unlocked so that you can butcher the chicken because it's not going to let you do it at all unless you craft a potion or any kind of meal so we'll come here we'll talk to him scroll down and we'll make the carrot soup Okay, so that's made. So that gave us enough to unlock sous chef. You could do that. Oh my gosh, he talks so much. You could do that or you can go to the alchemist lab. So we'll go up here with the seeds. You're gonna click on this and you're gonna make minor healing potions. So we just need the eight. You make them, you're good. Okay, now that that's done, we have sous chef unlocked and now we have the ability to butcher the chickens if we need the meat to feed the animals. I have all the resources here and what we're going to do is we're going to go to the personal island. So if you already have sous chef unlocked, you wouldn't have to worry about that. I just wanted to show you just so you don't get confused when it comes to trying to butcher because what you'll do is you'll come here with your raw chicken and you'll make it into, oh, you'll come here with your chicken and you'll make it into raw chicken, but this wouldn't have been unlocked unless you had sous chef unlocked. And sometimes the destiny board can get confusing. So I just wanted to show you that you need to do that in case you do want to get chicken meat. But now we're going to go back to the island plant the island merchant and we're going to teleport to our personal island.
So now that we're on the personal island, the first thing I want to show you while we're here is the middle house that I have. So I have all of these chests in here that I, I built my middle house and put a bunch of chests in here to organize everything. So we have, this is the one that I use for all of my farming and breeding of the animals. So I have like eggs in here. I have my carrots and I have all my raw chicken. So, and then I also have my carrot seeds that I plant. So I have carrot farms over here and I constantly plant carrot farms. And if you are having any kind of trouble setting up your farms, I have another video that I will put in the description for getting started with farming and herb patches here in Albion Online. But for this video, we're just gonna be doing the pastures and the kennels. So over here is an example pasture. I'm raising a bunch of Bambies, a bunch of depth fawns, but this is one of the ones that I'm working on right now. And then over here, I have the pasture and the kennel spot that I'm going to put. So usually you start with two pastures and you put chickens in both so that you can either butcher. And then you're always going to have one pasture of chickens. So you can always pick up the chickens every day and butcher them so you can feed the animals in your kennels. Now, the first time that you ever plant down the pastures and kennels, you're not going to be able to do anything with your kennels. Remember, you have to do your first two, one or two patches of chickens before you can plant stuff in your kennels. And I'm going to show you this right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a pasture. So if you press H on your keyboard or if you're on mobile press your symbol up here and press build we're going to go into the farming area and scroll all the way down and we're going to go to pastures we're going to press build and we're going to place it on the patch now I have the resources with me and this is the spot that you want to take a picture this is to build the pasture and this is to build the kennel if you want to build two pastures just times this by two you'll need 60 of each resource and then you're only going to want one kennel so here is the pasture we're going to throw all the resources in it and there we go, the pasture is down and it acts as a farm patch in a way that it has nine slots to place animals. And then we are going to place the kennel. So we're gonna go to the building tab again and we're going to place the kennel. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to place the animals in the kennel as well as level them up. I know if you're just starting out, you're not gonna be able to place animals in here, but I'm still gonna walk you through it just so after that first initial day of planting, planting, after the first initial day of putting down your chickens, you can then come back to the video or you can learn it now on how to to manage the animals in the kennel. So first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab our carrots that I have in here because we have to feed the baby chickens any kind of veggies. So carrots work as well as any type of uh, veggie that you grow in the farming patches. You, so you can buy them off the market or you can grow them yourself. It doesn't have to be carrots. In this example, I am just using carrots as well as it can be deceiving as this symbol only shows carrots, but really the animals aren't picky. They'll eat any types of veggies. So we're going to, I'm going to sort this and we have the baby chickens here as well as the cubs. We're going to grab the baby chickens and we're going to place them. So if you hold shift on PC, you can press these one at a time and you don't even have to click the baby chickens again to place. So I'm holding shift right now and just left clicking. Okay, all the baby chickens are down and now they're asking for carrots. So again, I'm going to shift click and they take 10 veggies per. And it looks like they do take herbs as well. So if you want to feed them herbs, herbs are usually a little bit more expensive. So you might want to stick to veggies. But now that we have them all down, you can take a look here and it has a nurture bonus of 80% for the offspring yield. So if I nurture one of these, now we're sitting at 140%. So when this chicken grows here in 22 hours, it will give me more baby chickens that I can use to grow more in this uh, in this pasture. But I'm not going to nurture all of them. I'm just going to nurture a couple just because I want to save my focus. But that's all you need to do for the baby chickens. So once they become full-grown chickens, all you're going to do is you're going to click on the box and you're going to press pick up. So it's going to show these symbols. You're going to see the little white chickens walking around and you're just going to press pick up and it'll pick it up from the patch and put it in your inventory. And then you can take it over to either the butcher in town or if you have a butcher on your island, you could bring it on over, press raw chicken and you it, the tab will be, usually it's all the way over, but you can just throw it over and you can press craft. And then you'll have a bunch of raw chicken that you can use to feed the kenneled animals. That's all you need to know to start your pasture. And once you get this leveled up more, it works the same way for like the fawns and whatnot. So once you, if you go back to your destiny board and look at the kennels, you can go to animal breeder and it'll show you the different levels that you need to place certain tiers of animals. For example, a moose calf will go in the pasture or like a horse will go in the pasture, like a, a fowl. A fowl will go in the pasture, but most of the meat eating animals go in the kennels. So you could place horses in here. You could place fawns. You could place moose. Um, all of the, I have nine down at the moment, and I also have a projected offspring yield of 18. These are actually going to be done today. So they're, yeah, they're going to be done today. So here is the next part that we're going to do. So the first one you're going to be able to do is swift claws, and we're going to place some swift claws in these kennels right now. So I have four swift claw cubs with me. And all you're going to do is press place and you can hold shift on PC 
and click them and put them all down one at a time. I did forget my chicken, so I'm going to cut the video. I'll be right back. Okay, we are back in the kennels. Now, all of these swift claw cubs are asking for meat. So if we click on them, it's going to take 70 hours for them to grow as opposed to five days and 20 hours. So it is cut. Right now, it has no projected offspring yield, but if I nurture them, it'll give a 10% yield. So we're going to give them their meat. So we're just going to shift click them. It'll give them 29 raw meat per. We'll give them all the raw chicken that they need. And then you have to give them chicken and as well as the, the chicken's food before they'll even start growing. So this tab didn't even start working. So we're actually going to have to feed the swift claw cubs multiple times. So we're going to have to check on them every day and give them more meat as well as we want to nurture them. So when we nurture them, it gives us a better projected offspring yield. And you can nurture them three times. And in those three days, they'll be ready to go. And once you pick them up, you can saddle them. So from this point, this is all you need to know for the kennels as well as the pastures. If anyone watching this video has been doing kennels or pastures for a while and you want to add anything in the comments, that would be amazing as it will help us build our knowledge as a community and help make these activities easier and more efficient. The next part we're going to show you is how to saddle the mounts. So when you get a swift claw, it's going to be a tame swift claw and you're going to want to saddle the mount. So I'm going to show you what I do to saddle them. Okay. So we're going to run through here and what we're going to need is tier five leather. So it's going to be refined, essentially animals that are skinned. It's going to be refined tier five material. So we're going to grab our tame swift claw. So I do have four ready here to show you guys. So this is what they're going to look like once you pull them out of their kennel. We have four of them. And then from here, we're going to go buy the leather that we need to saddle them. And we're going to take them to a saddler. Local goods. So we're going to need tier five. So we need cursed leather and we need, so we're going to need 80 because we need 20 per. And you can do buy orders for this, or you can just straight up buy it. I usually just straight up buy it. So we have the cursed leather here as well as the tame swift claw. So from here, this is when you need to check prices for the saddler. So sometimes in the cities, the saddlers can be pretty expensive. So how much are they here? They're actually pretty cheap here. So I, instead of going to my island, I'm just going to come up here and saddle from the city saddler. So we're going to run over here and go up the stairs. You can see these little stair icons. If you guys are, sometimes it can seem kind of confusing on how to get up to these crafting stations. But we're going to run through the town and we're going to run down to the saddler and I'll show you guys how to put a saddle on these swift claws. And you're going to want to do this for every animal that you raise either in the pasture or the kennel that is a rideable mount. You're going to have to bring it here to a saddler and you're going to have to saddle the animals. So we have here is the mounts. We have the regular mounts, all of the horses, armored horses and ox. And then if we go to rare mounts, swift claw, as well as the giant stag is going to be under here, as well as there's a bunch of different special mounts that can be raised. And for this one, we're just going to press swift claw. We're going to push it over and we have 80 and four. So we have everything that we need. We're going to pay the crafting fee because we don't care. And boom, there we go. So we did get a return on some of them. And we also have uh, four brand new swift claws. So if we, we can actually mount one up, um, I'm too heavy, so I'm not going to be able to walk, but Boom, there's one of our swift claws. I have a skin on it at the moment, so we can take that off. Boom. There is one of the swift claws that we raised, our very own swift claw. If you click on it too, it says crafted by Professor Scythe. So once you craft any mounts, your name will be on it at any time until it is trashed or if it's passed around between multiple players, your name will always be on the swift claw to show that you are the one that raised it. So that's kind of a cool concept as well as you get, if you give any mounts to any of your friends, it shows your name on it and they know that you, they are writing a mount that you personally raised, fed and put a saddle on. So. But other than that, that is going to be it. That is everything that you need to know for raising animals in pastures and kennels. I hope this video was helpful as well as steered you in the right direction to getting started raising animals on your island here in Albion Online. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video and I will see all of you in Albion Online.